Well, greetings, fellow dwarfers. Today, my top five episodes from the BBC bubble. The first 36 episodes, the Rob and Doug, the Grant Naylor. It's the episodes written by Rob Grant and Doug Naylor together as a writing partnership. The first six series. Series one, two, three, four, five, and six. So these are my top five. Honestly, I could put these in any order. I've chosen a five to one order, but honestly, pick, ask me next week and the order might change completely. But it's my top five episodes, plus a few honorable mentions that we'll get to towards the end. So this is just my top five. Yours could be very different. Let me know in the comments down below what you would pick. So my number five, I'm going with Quarantine, an absolutely legendary, amazing episode. I have a t-shirt for it. I just love this. Mr. Flibble, do I have to say any more? Mr. Flibble, the gingham dress, the ridiculous blonde wig that sticks out sideways. What more do I need to say? Absolutely stellar episode in terms of funniness, ridiculousness, and just visual gags that just rule above all of us. Absolutely brilliant. Love the episode. Love so much that's in there. It gave us the luck virus and the sexual magnetism. Absolutely brilliant. Number five, quarantine. My number four is Gunman of the Apocalypse, an amazing episode. So much great stuff in here. It won an Emmy. It's that good. Absolutely fantastic. I love the whole Western thing with all the... Um, characterizations in there with you know we've got the gunslinger and we've got the uh, the knife throw and the bare knuckle fire all these great characterizations brilliant jokes the cat bouncing the bullet and making the sign fall out absolutely stellar just such a great episode i absolutely adore it and i love how the artificial reality suite is introduced to us at the start of the episode with that really cool film noir setting I absolutely love that kind of film noir thing i think it's super cool i'd love to do my own kind of parody of that Absolutely brilliant, my number four, Gunman of the Apocalypse. So coming in at number three, I took pains on this one. It was so hard to choose my top three, but three, I'm going with Marooned. The writing here is just so good. The dialogue, the banter back and forth between Rimmer and Lister is just epically good. So, so fantastic. Love the episode. I just love the way that so much is stripped away. We remove all of the other cast members, we remove the ship itself, Red Dwarf is, is not really featured much. We strip that away, we haven't got a monster of the week, we haven't got some strange planet to explore, although there is a, a kind of icy wasteland, but we just strip it down to two guys who kind of hate each other, having to get on and make sense of a difficult situation for weeks on end in a small space. Absolutely brilliant, love the episode, the banter, the dialogue, so much I could quote from it. My number three, Marooned. So my number two goes to White Hole. Hattie Hayridge is just brilliant here as Holly. So much great stuff. I love the intelligence compression thing and how it's introduced with the talkie toaster being revived in the kind of second style talkie toaster in the red, voiced by David Ross. Absolutely just so many great things in there. Love all the um, jokes in there with the kind of time playing with itself. Remind me a lot of actually Future Echoes with the double conversation with Rimmer and Lister. We get this kind of slightly repeating conversation where the cat keeps saying the same thing. Absolutely brilliant. Love the writing, love the style. The game of pool with planets at the end with the, the celebration that it was a trick shot. I just love all of it. And I also love how it reminded me of the novels where a big section of that is based around what happens in Whitehall. Absolutely stellar, love the episode. Whitehall, my number two. So a few honorable mentions, gotta mention Polymorph. Honestly, it could make my top five, it could make my top three. It's been so difficult to put this list together. I wish I'd done a top 10. It would have been much easier. Polymorph, brilliant episode, so many gags. The tiny red boxer shorts scene is just so funny. Chris Barry doing his whole thing as a bit of a hippie is just fantastic. So much great stuff, love Polymorph. I've got to give a mention to Back to Reality, always tops the polls over on Ganymede and Titan, always tops the polls, doesn't make my top five. It easily could, if I'm honest. I absolutely love the episode. Love the thinking behind it, where for half the episode, you genuinely think Red Dwarf was made up as a video game and these guys have been living a fantasy life. You genuinely think for quite a long time that this is really happening to them. Genius idea, brilliantly acted, brilliantly portrayed. Absolutely love it, back to reality. Gotta get an honorable mention. And last up has to be DNA. If for nothing else, then the Polaroid conversation. If for no other reason, it's got to make the list for the Polaroid conversation, but there's so much other great stuff in there. The curry monster, Lister being turned into the man plus where he looks like Robocop, but he's about eight inches high. So much great stuff. 
lager, killing of Indaloo, what more do you need? So an honourable mention definitely has to go to DNA. So with that out of the way, my number one, I'm going with Queeg. Now it's always a top 10 episode on the polls over on Ganymede and Titan, but it's never, as far as I'm aware, ever made it particularly high. But for me, Queeg is a is the top episode. Okay, if you ask me next week, as I say, it might change around. I might put a different episode at the very top, but a lot of the time, it just, it sticks out in my mind. That's how I would put it. It sticks out in my mind as a top, my top episode, because the joke, I just remember the main joke of the whole thing of Quig being a made up thing by Holly to show that he is valued. I just remember that joke at the end. I remember the first time I watched it clearly, thinking that joke was just stellar. The whole sort of twist at the end was just absolutely brilliant. And I vividly remember that moment the first time I watched it. And as Capsie said on an interview recently, nostalgia leads so much of what we think about things like older shows like Red Dwarf that I have to give it on nostalgia basis and the fact that I just love that one main joke at the end of the episode. Queeg is a top episode for me. There's other stuff in there, of course. Love the whole thing of having this other computer who's the complete opposite of Holly. Um, love the whole thing of the guys having to sort of get down their hands and knees and scrub the floor and even have the cat having to do some work. The pee on toast, so many great things. Uh, Rimmer having to run even when he's fallen unconscious. Absolutely brilliant episode. I love it. So much great stuff in there. So Queeg is my number one episode from the BBC bubble, from the Grant Naylor, dual writing partnership episodes. I absolutely love it. Okay, if you ask me next week, I might change my mind, but for now, it's Queeg. Let me know your top five down below. I definitely want to know people's top, their number one. What's your number one episode? I think I'm going to get a lot of back to reality, but I want to know what your top episode from the BBC bubble is down in the comments below. 